So it turns out that Kimon and Momonosuke are not father and son. Chapter had a lot of like uh, plot twists just like last time, but this time it had something that I was really thinking that wow, like I did not expect Kimon and Momonosuke. Well, they're, they're, I, I believe they're related, but they said that they're not father and son, which had a really chuckle there within the straw hats. And it turned out Momonosuke is actually like the son of feudal war named Lord Odin. Also, that's another thing. I mean, Odin, I don't believe he even mentioned, like, a feudal lord in One Piece yet, which I believe that's, like, really high culture in the Japanese culture, somewhere around Chinese there. And Momonosuke, you know, he came out of nowhere just, like, talking to Nekomushi and the Duke saying, like, y'all need to stop fighting, which actually, they stopped fighting there. They started being friends again. And I was like, Okay, I give mad props to Momonosuke there, even though I hate him so much for roping Nami and Robin all the time, but, you know, good job there, and poke some jokes here. Uh, when he was reading the newspaper, they make it look like he was reading a manga, because that dude is really huge, and he's, he's like, holding the newspaper like it's, like, like a little pencil, and... He, you know, it, it's really funny, and then he just ripped it up, and there's a high possibility that Captain Jack could come back to Zhao and start wrecking S up. Another funny part of this chapter is, is when Nami, when she's just hugging Momonosuke, she went back to her old golden days, kind of, and just said, like, so your father's a lord, so that means he's got a lot of treasure, so, uh... I have a feeling that when they hit Wano Kingdom, Nami is going to be gold digging the crap at the feudal war. I, I have a feeling that, like father, like son, I bet Momonosuke's dad is a huge pervert. So a huge reveal, Rise Out appears in this chapter. Rise Out is uh, cuffed up in chains and next to the Poneglyph. And here's something major that everyone's been talking about because of the Poneglyph on Zhao is something relating to the Void Century. Now, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I'm like Luffy on this one about the Void Century. I have no idea about the Void Century, except I've been hearing like stuff about his back to where like uh, Goldie Roger during his days. But uh, just to tell you all the truth, I, I'm like Luffy on this one. I do not know nothing or crap about the Void Century. Like. There's a lot of stuff that One Piece needs to like reveal before he ends because about the Void Century and then the Will of D. And so the Duke is just telling Robin that can you read this Poneglyph? And she says yes, which I have a feeling next chapter or chapter 819 will reveal something really major on this Poneglyph. Like really something major. Something having to do with either the Void Century or something more about the ancient weapons. The main highlight of this chapter is Rise Out. Rise Out. Now, let me tell you about Rise Out and what I thought about when I read the end of this chapter. It looked like Oda wanted to honor Kishimoto from Naruto a lot in this. Like, can you guys see that Rise Out kind of looked like something like a, a One Piece version of Jiraiya, but except for he's not a huge pervert. Uh, and as of we don't know yet. But Rise Out looked freaking awesome and without copying or like doing some copyright infringement of Naruto he said Ninja Arc Smoke Release Jutsu and also with Ninja Arc Clone Jutsu which uh, I, I, I gotta say that's that brought a lot of back nostalgic stuff from Naruto there and seeing Rise Out going all out with what he's been showing off, seeing that he is a true ninja. Luffy, Usopp, and Chopper are just fangasming about this ninja. And I'm like, bringing back the Naruto greatness here, Oda style. So, this was a pretty cool chapter. Now, here's something I want to get out of my chest for a second. Seeing that Kimon and Momonosuke are not really father and son, does this mean Kimon will join the Straw Hats or at least uh, Rise Out? I mean, Rise Out looks pretty cool. I mean, 
I have a feeling Luffy might ask him to join his crew, but I don't know. We don't know his sad past or his goal yet. So, I have to say, it's a pretty good chapter, and hopefully the next chapter will reveal more about the Poneglyph, and maybe see more of Ryza, and possibly Captain Jack coming back to Zao. But maybe this to switch things up, maybe Oda can finally figure out what's going on with Sanji and his situation right now.